Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mechanical Keyboards Live. I'm your host, Ski with Pete. Welcome to everybody. Big show today. We got uh, Rizia in the house. We got Dane Carter. We got Ellen. We got Nick. Harshid Goal. IT Mac Pro. This is your board. Uh, who else we got? Weekend Airsoft Warrior. What is going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you who are here today. Today, we're going to be building a uh, mechanical keyboard 60% with a carbon fiber plate in blue, as you can see it here. Uh, we're also including in that the GH60 fully programmable PCB here. We've got these white keycaps on top and this beautiful red aluminum base. Welcome, 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 everybody. I can see a lot of hellos coming in. Neon Bro, what's going on? Miguel is in the house. Nick is here. Jesper Lundqvist is here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Can I ask a quick favor of everybody? I said I was going to be building a 60% uh, Poker 3 improvement. Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, press the like button. Let's get some likes going on in the show today. We've got 41 people live. Would love to get that number up. Of course, the more people who press like, the more people who get to join the show. And I'd love to see that number climb. Mech Merlin is here. Mr. Sendrum is here. Guys, welcome to the show. Frymo says hi. Hi, Frymo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm wearing my Ski with Pete hat. It says Ski with Pete on it. Awesome. Uh, Steph is in the background today. She's making noises, just decides, she's been quiet all morning, just decides right now it's time to do this. That's Six. you stole my chair. I stole her chair and apparently her pen. For those of you who are watching camera two, don't forget there is a camera two and the mic is hot. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, switch over to full 1080p. We're watching in full 1080p today and you can see just that glorious detail that you're going to get by... Look at that. Look at that. You're going to get a lot of beautiful detail. Sorry, the focus is a little bit funky there. Just because there's a bit of plastic over top of it. But it is going to be gorgeous. Okay. Going to get to that in just a second. So what have I said already? Uh, first off, press like. Press subscribe. If you haven't already pressed subscribe, welcome to the show and press subscribe. Uh, like, subscribe, 1080p, camera 2. Today, of course, we're going to be using the solder cam. There's solder cam. Getting ready to show that off. We'll use that to do some soldering in a little bit. What else can I tell you? It's a holiday weekend here. We it is a holiday weekend here. That's why we got a Friday afternoon live stream. Uh, for those of you who are new to the show and aren't sure exactly what's going on, go check the About section below. The About section below has relevant links to this and everything you can see on my desk. Uh, you'll find the kit there. You'll find... Everything you need there. So I'm just gonna just gonna move this out of the way a little bit. It's taking up quite a bit of my desk. Um, we're gonna be building this kit from scratch. This is a customer. This is a customer kit. It was requested by the guy who's in the channel, IT Mac Pro. So you can hang out and ask him any questions. This uses Zelio 67 gram switches, which, in my opinion, are amongst the very very best switches that one can buy. So that's great. Steph is just continuing to make some more noise back there. What are you doing? Getting some water. Cool. Can we have some more coffee? You like the sludge. Didn't awesome. You? Let's do more coffee. Uh, you probably know this, but your mic too on camera is quite hot. Let me see if I can quickly fix that. Let's see. Just real quick here. I'm uh, just going to press this button. Uh, then this button. Then this button, low, okay. Did that fix it? Probably. I probably did fix it. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Tyler Moore is in the house, um, who said that my camera too was quite hot. Uh, hopefully it should be better, hopefully. For those of you who don't know, you can support this channel. You can support this channel either by buying me a cup of coffee in the about section below that's over here, or if you're on mobile, that's the V that's over here. Or you can uh, contribute directly to the 4K camera by doing a super chat. Um, 
if you want to. I'm just saying. Super Chat is enabled. I do promise to read out everything that's written in Super Chat. Uh, so if you'd like to do that, you, of course, can. I'm just going to go through this one more time. Red Base, fully programmable GH60 PCB. We've got the blue carbon fiber and the white switches on top. We're going to go with clear stabs today. Uh, and I'll lube those in a little bit. But first, we got to start with the switches. So the first thing you need to do with the switches uh, is you need to clip the little the little tabs. So let's just show how that's done. Just got to reach in here and pull a little cutter out. Cutter, cutter, cutter. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the action cam to show this off. Okay, ooh, I was real close then. The action cam looked good, but it's a little askew, so... Let's just tip this that way a little bit and that way a little bit. If this doesn't focus up in the next few seconds, I will manual focus. I'm going to have to manual focus, so it's just going to take one second. Uh, manual focus and it's video two. Uh, there we go. Is that good or do you want it even tighter? No, that's worse. Let's try that one. That's better. Okay, so here's what we're up to. I'm going to I'm going to clip the little legs off of these switches. So these are what's called these are what's called PCB mount switches. You see they have these two little little plastic legs on either side of the switch. So I'm going to start by cutting those off. So here we go just gonna get that I put my thumb on top just so it doesn't go flying but that's all I've done I've just clipped that one little leg off you can see I've still got one on the other side I'm just gonna turn this around so I can go after that little leg there that's it so I'm basically turning these from PCB mount into plate mount so if you buy a plate mount switch they'll come like this if you buy a PCB mount uh, they'll have these little legs on them uh, you'd leave them on if you were doing a, uh, a build without a plate. So in this example, uh, in this example, we're building uh, this carbon fiber blue plate into the build. If you didn't have a plate and you just wanted to do the base and the PCB, you can do that. Um, these provide that these little legs provide that extra stability. Uh, but when you have a plate, you don't need them. Uh, and actually, the GH60 holes are quite tight and the pegs on these zelios are quite fat so the combination of the two means that we're just better off without them so anyways uh just a shout out to all my mods we do have quite a number of mods on this channel the reason we have so many mods not only is to uh, keep an eye on the show but it's also these are people who are from the keyboard community Yes, there is a keyboard enthusiast community, and these people are from there, so they they know lots of stuff. So if you ask a question and I don't get to it on the stream, uh, which often happens, um, just know that the mods can help. They're really good. Even better than that, uh, if uh, if you hang around a little bit and uh, learn and discover more about mechanical keyboards, you too eventually will become a mod on this show. All you need to do is just turn up a bunch of times and it'll probably happen. The best thing too is mods can post links. So oftentimes they'll uh, show pictures and be able to do stuff that even I can't do since I'm busy hosting a show and uh, hanging out with you guys. So uh, thank you very much to all of my mods who've come by today. Um, it is it is awesome that you guys are here. Thank you very much for coming by. I see that we have 57 concurrent viewers. And most people are watching in 1080p, but the second most watched is 480p. So if you haven't already switched up your um, your resolution up to 1080p, 1080p, please do so now. Also, I noticed we've still we're at 21 likes with almost 60 people watching. So if you haven't pressed that like button, this is indeed a keyboard stream, and we are building a 60% that will be better than the Poker 3. So. Uh, the title is Absolute Truth. Please do smash that like button now. Uh, I think the bump is a little too pronounced. Felt like the keys were getting stuck ever so slightly. The Zelios have the most beautiful bump. Uh, they are 
a very attention to detail based. Steph just demands more noise in the background there. What are you doing? Using the proper coffee machine. I bought beans too. Crazy. Okay. Wait a second. The proper coffee machine, you mean the. Grind and brew. The grind and brew? Let's do some grind and brew. I would still like to get a separate grinder and a separate brewer. Uh, Mecca Merlin says Is there any benefit to doing both plate mount and PCB mount? For example, is it more stable for builds that have plate mount? Curious. Uh, actually, I've done that in the past and I have not noticed a difference. It's not like um, it's not like it provides enough difference that uh, that one could tell, at least not in my my opinion. Uh, perhaps there are people who have more sensitive fingers than, than mine. Uh, but as somebody who's done that, uh, the answer for me, at least, is no. Um, the the difference in stability that you get from a plate is significant and that significant difference isn't uh, improved or mitigated uh, by leaving the stab legs in and all it really does is hurt your thumbs a hell of a lot I'm trying to push them all in has anyone here tried the black brass plate uh, anyone know how it compares i don't know yet or we're hoping to get those uh, soon on one of keyboards um, what i can tell you is that they're quite heavy uh, and they're quite thick. I would say that they're probably comparable to the steel plates. Um, since uh, brass is a copper alloy, I would say that it would probably be uh, similar to stainless steel, which is a, which is also an alloy. It's just my opinion. I don't actually know for sure. Built my first board, says Arrow. Built my first board this week, and your streams were a huge help. Thanks. No problem, man. That's awesome. Great to hear. It's great news. For those of you who've just joined the stream, and I see that there are now 61 people watching, if you haven't already, please do press like, and please do press subscribe. Um, welcome to all the new people who've just joined. Uh, subscribing is getting us closer to our eventual goal of trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. At 100,000 subscribers, we're going to go into the YouTube space for a live streamed meetup. Um, I'm enjoying the live streaming, and since I've reached over 10,000 subscribers, uh, the YouTube space here in New York City has invited me in a couple times, and it just seems like the absolute perfect space to do a keyboard live keyboard stream meetup. So I'm looking forward to doing that, hopefully soon. So go ahead and press that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, we'll get to that as soon as possible. Hi guys, I'm a novice in keyboards. Which one can you recommend for a novice? Uh, yeah, if, if you're going to say a pre-made, I personally recommend the Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid. And the reason that I recommend that one is that you can open it up and you can add a piece to it called the Frosty Flake, which makes it a fully programmable keyboard. And that's actually the difference between uh, simple boards and the more uh, complex boards is that full programmability. The board that I'm building today is a fully programmable keyboard. Full programmability means that you can assign any value to any key. So this top left key, instead of being escape, for example, could uh, spell out my URL, youtube.com forward slash ski with Pete. Every time I press it, youtube.com forward slash ski with Pete. It also has different layers of programmability. So it could be escape if I just keep pressing it. But if I press one of these buttons over here, then the escape button, that's when it could trigger the macro that says youtube.com forward slash ski with Pete. So not just that, but when you unplug the board and go to a different computer and plug it back in, it retains the programmability, which again is an amazing feature. So that's why I suggest the Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid as the best beginner board, because it gives you the ability, not at first, you'll, um, you'll start just with a, a bare bones board, but it gives you the ability to upgrade to that full programmability for just like, what is it, 35 bucks? And for 35 bucks to upgrade to that programmability and discover more about fully programmable keyboards, to me, it's fully worth it. 
Uh, I see some people recommending the Magic 468. Yeah, the Magic 468 is a nice keyboard. The thing with the Magic 468 is it won't ever be a fully programmable keyboard. Not only does it not have um, full programmability, uh, but it's non-upgradable as well. But, you know, uh, any keyboard is a great uh, first keyboard. You know, get in, get some switches, uh, try them out. Uh, this definitely, you know, uh, and a great place to start. But for me, uh, choosing the Cooler Master means that you're going to be able to enjoy the hobby with the, f the first board for a little while longer. Hi, Ski With. Hi, all. The blue versus red switch in Cooler Master S versus Razor Black Tournament Chroma and Classic. Please help me. Uh, so red switch is a linear switch, uh, so there's no tactile feedback. Uh, if you work in an office space or somewhere that you intend other people to hear you, a clicky switch can be very loud, like that clicky switch. So I would tend towards red, but uh, it's up to you. Uh, I personally would avoid the razor uh, and go towards the Cooler Master simply because the Cooler Master has what's called a standard bottom row. A standard bottom row like the one I'm going to be building today. You can actually see the the keycaps here. The standard bottom row. It's uh, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 6.25, then four of the same size on the other side, which is 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25, 1.25. That is what you call the standard bottom row. You'll notice when you look at the razors that this switch is like a different size. Maybe this switch or these switches are different sizes. So. What you want to do is find the one with the standard bottom row. That's why I tend towards the Cooler Master keyboards. Because you can find other keycaps. Yeah, a standard bottom row just means you can find other keycaps for it more easily. Um, so you want to stay with the key, stock keycaps then? Yeah, if you want to stay with the stock keycaps forever and then when you uh, wear the keycaps out, you want to get a new board, that's understandable too, but I would tend towards the Cooler Master just because it gives you more variety and you know discovering keycaps is all part of this hobby which is pretty cool so uh, GGC ADC Dear Pete I would very much like a 65% sandwich board with arrows and a steel plate like the LJD 61 up will this ever exist can I help in any way to make this happen Steph what can we say about that at this time We are currently working on it. That is official word from Stephanie. We are working on it. Uh, there is no ETA as yet. It is a work in progress. It is a work in progress. Well, with 58 viewers currently on the show and 29 likes, please go ahead and keep smashing that like button. The more likes we get, the more people come to the show. I know it's a little bit tedious right now just watching me clip these legs, but it is going to get a whole lot better a whole lot faster. So, um, like right now, you can listen to the coffee beans grind. Ready? Oh, like for the coffee beans. You ready? Can anybody... Jeff, you just killed you just killed seven users from watching right now. <laughs> you did. You killed seven users just by grinding some coffee. Okay, well, there will be coffee soon. For those of you who don't know, I'm the owner of oneupkeyboards.com. One-Up Keyboards is the uh, brand with which all of these components were purchased. Um, this is a custom build for a customer uh, who would like me to build it and sign it, which is awesome. Um, so I'll be doing that. Um, 
for those of you who don't know, you can buy me a cup of coffee in the about section below. Uh, that is the best way to donate to this channel. You can also use Super Chat. We're trying to get to 4K. So I've bought, for those of you who haven't been around for a couple days, um, I've bought a 4K camera. Here it is, the 4K camera. Uh, this thing is going to replace this overhead camera. Uh, we're going to go full 4K. Uh, that'll be fun. But I also, because one of the best features about this show is the solder cam, which is there. Oh, it's falling over a little bit. One of the best features about this show is the solder cam. Uh, the solder cam needs to go 4K as well, and we're at $66 of 200 to get there. Oh, that's weird. Uh, every time there's a super chat, of course, I update this number. Whoop. Are you addicted to coffee? Yep. Uh, for those of you who haven't been to oneupkeyboards.com, that's another great way to support this channel. Or uh, what you can do is just press like. Pressing like and subscribe actually helps the channel a lot. So go ahead, press that like button, press that subscribe button. It's gonna be in 4K soon. Oscar Hernandez says, did you get today off work, Pete? I did actually, yeah, today is a company holiday ahead of Memorial Day weekend. Which is also a holiday for you. Which is also a holiday for me, so I may be streaming on Monday. Tomorrow, I definitely won't be streaming. Uh, Steph and I have plans to go enjoy a day off together. Um, but I'll be back uh, later on in the weekend, especially if it rains as much as the forecast says it will. So uh, I'll be up to that. Uh, currently 63 viewers. Thanks to everybody who's here. Don't forget to press that like and press subscribe. The more people who watch, the more people will join and watch. So uh, the more that this grow. Are you and Steph a couple? Um, <laughs> we're married. We have been for some time. We're, uh, yeah, we've been married for uh, a couple of years. I can't remember how many. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Steph and I are also high school sweethearts. So... Um, uh, yeah, we don't, we struggle to exist without the other, or at least I struggle to exist without Steph. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely a couple, a couple of keyboard nuts for sure. Theo is in the house. What's going on? Oh, habit, Mr. Sendrum. I should be calling people out. Atari zero is here. Did I already say hello? Oscar Hernandez. Did I say hello? Hawk on. He's here too. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. This is the most tedious and boring part about building a keyboard, but when you get your switches, if you're going to do a plate build like this, I suggest you just cut them off as soon as you can. There's no point. No point delaying. Uh, other things that have happened on oneupkeyboards.com, uh, we've launched the new LJD61 Up Universal. Uh, that's not today's build, but I hope to build one of those. Uh, very soon. We also launched uh, LEDs on our website, which is exciting. And we've got two new TKL designs. One is silver carbon fiber. The other is stainless steel. Those were, they're going to do a launch post about those for tomorrow, I think, but uh, they are launched today. Yeah, plum. You Scottish, yeah, plum. You look like you might be Scottish. Mange HD is here. What's going on, Mange? Atari Zero, yeah. Oh, dude, Atari Zero, you asked this uh, yesterday. I'm sorry, did you not hear my answer? Uh, Atari Zero says, what software do you use to program your Gone Nerd TKLs? Uh, Atari, I use the Nerdy GUI, which is available from Gone's website. Uh, we should probably, now that you say that, we should probably link to that on our website. Sure. Sure. We'll do that later on today, but go to Gon's website. It's called Nerdy GUI. It's for Windows only, um, and that's what I use. Uh, I I spend most of my life in Linux and in Mac, but when I want to program my Gon Nerd, uh, that's what I do. Is go in there. Also, it's onboard programmable. So there's like a if you watch the video on how to do it, you like tap and then you program in what you want to program. 
uh, and then you lock it in. And then if there's any errors, you can go in and fix them in Nerdy GUI. That's that's what I do. That's how I do it. Uh, you could also rewrite the software if you wanted to uh, using uh, TMK or QMK, uh, which is also fine to do. Um, but once you've overwritten the software, you can't go back. So there's that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there should be 65 in this pack. So if there's 65, we need 61 switches. There should be four left over. You never know. You want to keep those four spare around in case you mangle one, but... Uh, I'm not going to clip those right away. Yigit. Hi, Yigit. Welcome to the stream. I see currently 50 people watching with 38 likes. That's great. Thank you very much for all those likes. Go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. Maybe you've been here a couple minutes and you're thinking, this is kind of okay. Thank you very much, uh, Atari, for that uh, donation. There's many, many upgrades coming, uh, and I appreciate you contributing towards the 4K camera for the soldering iron. That's awesome. Uh, so if you're going to do uh, Hungaro Cell 95 Laszlo says, uh, I'm not sure if it should be red or blue. So in my opinion, and it's just an opinion, it's just a guy who does a bunch of stuff. Um, in my opinion, I would rather reds for gaming than I would blues for gaming. Blues is a better typing switch. It feels better. It's more like clicky and responsive. It feels better under finger, but I would prefer that for typing. Like if I'm going to type out an essay or something. But if I'm going to game, linear switches are probably what I would go for. Not just because if I have a, a headpiece on, the on the microphone it'll be um it'll be easier to hear when the keys aren't clicking but also when you're doing stuff like running or jumping or playing any fps's you know you don't really want it to click when you're when you're running or whatever you don't need that feedback you just want to run as quickly as you possibly can so um a linear switch to me you know is better Okay, cool. I've just finished off all the I'm just gonna clean this up before I move on over to the next part, which is lubricating stabs. Thank you again to everybody who's come and joined the show, especially to my mods. Thank you, mods, for being here uh, and for hanging out. So I'm currently showing 60 concurrent viewers, but uh, the majority are actually, uh, actually, the majority are in 1080p, but second to that majority is still 480p. So if you guys haven't already, or if you're like on auto or something, crank it up, man. Turn it up. This thing is in... Full 1080p for a reason. Let's take a look at all the glorious detail that you can see when you come in nice and close in 1080p like this. Look at that. So look at this beautiful switch. This is a Zelio switch. And without even opening it up, you can see all the parts and pieces inside. You can see that spring down the middle there. And you can see the housing. And look at it as it moves down. It's exactly how the switch works there. And you can see in the bottom here, you can even see the purple little stem reaching all the way to the bottom. You can also see the gold leaves for the gold crossover. That is a beautiful switch. Of course, this clear housing makes it even more beautiful. You can see that it says Gateron up there. For those of you who don't know, Gateron is a Cherry MX clone, uh, but they're actually smoother. And a lot of community members, myself included, prefer the Gateron over Cherry MX because of that smoothness. 
Malky, uh, we're getting very close. So as I said a few minutes ago, the 4K streaming will start happening soon. Don't forget, uh, camera two is available if you want a slightly different perspective on today's fun and festivities. You can switch over to camera two and go check that out. I'm just going to move all these switches over to the side. It definitely does pay to watch in full 1080p. All right, next up we have these stabilizers. Now, uh, for those of you who have never really played with the stabilizers, um, these are what's called cherry compatible, uh, cherry style stabilizers. So let's just switch over to action cam here and see if we can take a closer look. What's that? What weight? What weight are the Zelios? 67 grams, these ones. These ones. 67 grams. Okay. Switching over to the, sta the stabs or stabilizers, you can see what these stabilizers are all about. These are what would be called pre-clipped. They're already assembled, and they don't have the little suspension at the bottom of them. These are what you're looking for. Uh, so these are clear ones. These ones are pretty cool. They have two ends to them. They have the end with a little toe. It's like a little clip. And they have the end with a little split push button. Do you see that split split push button there? So those go inside one of the holes on the PCB. So we'll get to that in just a second. But the first thing that I like to do that makes this a better keyboard than what you can buy off the shelf is lubricating the stabs or lubricating the stabilizers. So uh, what I've got here is I've got a little tube of Crytox 205, GPL Crytox 205. See, I got this off Amazon. There's links to this in the about section below. It's a DuPont product, uh, performance lubricant. This is good, good stuff. And all I'm going to do is just put a little bit on the corner where the metal rubs against the plastic. So you can see I'm just going to put a little dollop in here, just like that. That's it. That's all I'm doing to it. Just that little dollop right there. And I'm going to do another little dollop over here as well. That's it. Nothing more to it than that. Just those two little dollops and that is ready to go. Again, it's those little customizations which make this a better, better keyboard. And of course, the satisfaction of having a custom built keyboard that's fully programmable, that helps too. So if you guys uh, are wondering what the difference is between a programmable and a non-programmable or a onboard programmable keyboard like the Poker 3, go check out my video called Not All Mechanical Keyboards Are Equal. You'll uh, get a pretty good description, a pretty in-depth description of the differences there. Uh, yeah, I could uh, start streaming at uh, 4K, and I, I did look into doing that and just up everything, but there's no real point in doing that at this time. Uh, I'm waiting just for the plug to get that 4K going, and once, once I do that, then I will indeed switch over, even though I'll be up -resing. If I haven't yet got enough money, uh, if I haven't, whoops, sorry, if I haven't reached the goal of 200 at that time, I'll just up the uh, the other cameras, including... Uh, including this one right here, uh, and my action cam. I'll just up them until such time as I have um, got the 4K action cam and the 4K uh, solder cam. But there's no point in uh, up it just for you to down it when everything I have is still in 1080p. you also notice that camera 2 is in 720p. Uh, that's as high as that goes. I'm using an Epifan X1, which is great if you're considering getting into streaming. Okay, uh, let's switch back to the overhead view. Okay, next up I'm going to 
just before I start putting the stabs into the the stabs or stabilizers into the board, first I'm just going to test it out, which my live stream viewers will be able to see. Uh, here's the way you do that. Uh, first, you open up the package, which is pretty obvious. Uh, you can't lube co-star style stabs. Uh, or you could put lube uh, in where the wire is. If you put it, yeah, where the wire is being pinched, you know where the wire, it's on the sides of the space bar. You could lube in there, but it's, I guess it's the same, but it, yeah, it is actually much the same. Well, if you're saying the stream will look better, though, streaming at 4K reduces the compression on 1080p, making everything look clearer. Cool. <laughs> In other words, hurry up and upgrade. Hurry up and upgrade. Hurry up, Pete. <laughs> um, Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna plug this puppy in. Uh, okay, now it's plugged in. I'm gonna go to my chat window here. And I'm gonna use some tweezers that I've got because they're metal and conductive. And I'm just gonna uh, test out. Yeah, a couple letters are indeed working. And then I'm gonna press enter, which I believe is this one. There we go. It, for those of you in the live stream, you should have just now seen a bunch of J's and some semicolons. That means that this board is fully functional. So let's carry on from there. So now that we know that the board is fully functional, what we're going to do is start by putting the stabilizers in. Now these, uh, this is actually reversed. The big hole is where the toe goes and the clip goes into the small hole. So I'm just going to do that there. Make sure that they're nice and in. And there, I've just clipped that first one in. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the other one going in. So again, I'm pushing that toe in on that side. Make sure it's all nice and set. And then I'm just clipping this end down so that it goes all the way through. Once that's through, there you go. It's nice and solid in there. That's the one for the space bar. The one, I'm gonna zoom back out here. Bizarre Gamer, hi. Welcome to the show. I Bogdan, bro. Ogdan, I Bogdan. Hello, bro, hello. All right, toe goes into the big side, clip goes into the back side. All right, here I'm going to do this one on action cam, so you can see it nice and up close. Get that in there, that's it, there you go. Again on action cam. There you go, once those are in, they're nice and, nice and stable. Gonna do this one as well here. Uh, somebody the other day asked me how you can tell which side of the PCB is up and which side of the PCB is down. Uh, the answer to that is actually pretty simple. The I'm gonna switch to overhead. The um, the chips go on the back side of it. So that's that's always the downside. The upside should be smooth. Hope that makes sense. Cool. We're currently at 56 watching and 45 likes. I'd love to hit 50 likes as I put in the first four switches. So if you guys haven't already pressed like, I'd love it for you to do so. Uh, let's put that here. Oh, that was a weird way to hold it. 
Yeah, I picked it up from uh, It's um, quite very weak compared to the first coffee that we Yeah, had. the first coffee I had was in mud. That's why I'm feeling so stimulated, though. That's why I'm doing a live stream here at noon. Boom! Can you please dab? Thanks, Rahul. Appreciate you liking it. Thank you to my mods, Malky Tomlinson. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm just going to have a couple sips of my coffee here. Thank you again to everybody who's contributed towards... There's the 71 of 200. Thank you to everybody who's contributed towards that 4K solder cam. Very cool of you. Very cool of you indeed. Oh, Error 404 says, today's the first day in like two years on Fort Season membrane keyboard. Because I, I had my Cooler Master Storm Quickfire Rapid Eye that I sent back, and it sucks. That sucks. Atari Zero says, YouTube's mod interface is lacking. Oh, sucks. Yeah, I'd be very careful, uh, Dane, just hearing you say that. I'd be very careful about lubing clicky switches. Uh, JB isn't in the house right now to tell us all about it, but he would he would tell you that exactly the same. It's very easy to over lube and kill the click. Yeah. Nakura says, is it worth buying an expensive mech keyboard for your first mech? Uh, for your first mech, I highly recommend that you get the Cooler Master Quickfire Rapid, which is a solid board. Uh, I wouldn't really describe it as very expensive, um, but it is upgradable, so. Oh, that coffee's good. Okay, I gotta put these first four switches in, so I'm gonna go uh, this one first. Uh, if I wanted to use a backslash as a backspace, if I wanted to use as a backspace, would I not just put a stabilizer in that slot for this DIY kit? Uh, no, the backslash key is only a 1.25U, and a 1.25U does not need to be stabilized. So uh, there's no need to put the stabilizer in there. If you wanted this to be a split key, you simply wouldn't put the stabilizer in, and there's spaces, you can see them there actually. Let me zoom in. You can see that there's spaces for multiple. Uh, you could have a these this be. You can see those two there and two there. You could have this be multiple. No. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. You're good. What? You're good. You could have this be two different. You could have this be a key here and a key here. So, yeah, you could split that backspace. Is what I'm saying. And, uh, and then you just program it, and then the programming is what makes the backslash the... Oh, I'm just looking, is my desk really far over to the one side? No, it's not too bad, Never mind. Now, I'm not 100% sure how this bottom row lines up, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Put 
pretty sure it goes that way. I might have to, uh, I'd have to check, double check that. Does anybody on here actually know offhand with these universals? If, uh, if I've got this right. If it is those outside ones. Those outside positions that I'm it's supposed to be aiming for. Uh, the only way for me to know for sure is to grab my This is my LJD sixty one up. Which is another 60% universal keyboard that we sell here at One of Keyboards. I can say with absolute certainty that those are correct placements for those two. Fifty-three watching with fifty-five likes. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, such a nice treat uh, to have that many that many likes for that many viewers if you haven't already pressed like would love it if you did it if you uh, haven't already pressed subscribe would love it if you did that too go ahead and press subscribe now a nice keyboard at any price well what about a custom keyboard like this this is the LJD 61 up. We just released a new universal version this morning from oneupkeyboards.com. If you haven't already been to oneupkeyboards.com, I'm the owner of oneup keyboards. I would love it if you guys went and hung out there. moving on I'm getting ready to solder but I'm still drinking this coffee thank you again to everybody who supports the channel if you're not already watching it in full 1080p you should switch over now to 1080p uh, if you're new to the show and haven't already liked it please do press like please do press subscribe uh, we're about to get to the part of the show where I use the solder can Side there while I do my first go at solder cam. We're at 57 likes with 60 people watching. If there's any chance that you can press like now, just as we get to solder cam, get a couple more people in here. I would love it if you could. Go ahead, smash that like button now. And I've just turned on the soldering iron. We'll get to soldering the first four switches in just one second. Door. What's that? Fan and door. Fan and door? Van and door. Uh, fan. Yeah. And I'm going to open the door. Okay, okay. Dane Carter with $2 for coffee. Thank you, Dane. I'm going to knock this up here. As you know, there's a live total count. So then we're now at $73. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome of you. Okay, the solder 
the soldering iron is now up to temperature, but this is the wrong, not the right solder. This is the solder that I want here. Fifty million likes. If there's any possibility that somebody out there could press that last like button to get us up to 60, please do so now. I'm going to fire up the solder cam. Solder cam. For those of you who are new to the show and don't know about the solder cam, this is the solder cam. You're going to get an up close view. Please make sure you're watching in full 1080p. And as I use the solder cam, know that you can get a little bit dizzy. And if I do make you a little bit dizzy, keep your eye in the top left corner. Yeah, up here. Keep your eye up here so that you don't get too dizzy because the first thing I do is wipe the soldering iron. There we go, there we go. All right, here we go. Get in nice and tight. We're out of Milky Gatherons. I don't think they're being produced anymore. Don't forget guys, if you're doing your own soldering, practice safety first. Always wear eye protection when you're soldering. If you haven't already pressed that like or subscribe button, do so now. Keep your eye on that top left corner. Just gonna re tip this thing. All right, there you go. That was our first use of the solder cam. Uh, I'm gonna put the rest of the switches in and then I'm gonna do the whole board. I'll do the whole board at once. But there's a great question. Somebody just said, this is the part that scares me. Do you actually touch the PCB with the iron? You absolutely do. What you do is you press the iron up against the little metal ring and you let it warm up. And as it warms up, then you apply the solder to the metal ring and to the little post. You don't put it on the soldering iron. Protect your eyes. Notice that I'm wearing glasses. If I wasn't wearing these glasses, I have a set of protective glasses right here that Steph uses. These are Steph's protective glasses. Again, wear protective glasses because it's your eyes. You don't need any other explanation than that. It's your eyes. Pete, you inspired me to sticker bomb my keyboard and it turned out great. That's awesome, Theodoro89. How are you, man? I haven't seen you around in a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, post your pick now. I've just given you mod privileges so you can post your pick. Okay, so that was our first go at solder cam. Just disconnecting the pump here. I'm going to go wash my hands so that I can keep drinking my coffee with confidence. We're at $73 of $200. we are almost at the $75 mark, which would be the, the 3 eighths mark. Almost at the 3 eighths mark. Look how good I am at fraction. Mm. What's that as a decimal? What were you at? at three as almost at seventy five dollars of two hundred. So seventy three of two hundred. Yeah. Is thirty six and a half percent. Thirty six point five. Almost thirty six. Almost thirty seven. Almost 37%. You're getting close. That a boy, Theodoro. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at what he's posted here. Uh, open link in new window. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, yeah. That does look awesome. Uh, here, I'm just going to show that off on the... Uh, just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to show that off in the... There it is. No, the back shot. Yeah. Is there a back shot as well? Oh, yeah. Black and white looks awesome. It does look awesome. Oh, so good. Nicely Very nicely done. Cool. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, and of course here you can see these are the super chatters who've already super chatted. Thank you to Atari Zero and Dane Carter. Okay, I'm going to have a bit more coffee now that I'm done soldering. Ah, delicious. Uh, okay, so now what I do is uh, grab the back. 56 people watching, 68 likes. Thank you very much to everybody who's come in today and pressed like. Uh, what I do now is, um, I'm gonna, I'll show you what I do. Take the base, just like that. I open the baggie just so it's a little bit looser in there. Uh, and I'm just gonna, push that in like that. Then what I do is I use that as the vacuum space underneath in order to push the rest of the switches in. Or at least that's what I plan to do. Looks like it's going to be a little more painful than I thought. Benjamin, hey Benjamin, welcome. Yeah, this top row doesn't want to go in really easily, so I'm gonna do it this way. Who manufactures that PCB? Uh, this PCB is called the GH60 Satan. Uh, I'm not sure the manufacturer's name, actually. Now that you say that.
I got this in the mail today. It says, the Boom Boy. What did he get? Oh, yeah, sweet. A little retro board. Okay, I'll show it off in just one second. I just got to resize this window. Oh, whoops. Nice. Very nice indeed. Cool. Continuing on here. making sure I've got all these things level. Yeah, diodes and resistors are pre-soldered. Thank you, Atari Zero, for clearing that up. Yeah, the GH60 Satan is a pretty cool board, actually. Um, and it's easily programmable through the Easy AVR system, which I highly recommend. For all of those of you who are new to the show and new to the channel, don't forget to press like and don't forget to press subscribe. Uh, the more likes and subscribes we get, the faster the channel grows. Thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed today and to everybody who's already pressed like. Thank you very much. For those of you who've been around a couple minutes and you're still kind of wondering, oh, this is kind of okay, I guess, go ahead, smash that like button. The more likes we get, the more people get to come join the show. and That's good for us and good for everybody. And of course, 4K is coming soon. So thank you to everybody who is currently watching in 1080p. 1080p is actually losing out to 720p. 720p is the current dominant format. If you've switched over to camera two and you switch back to camera one, you might need to switch back to 1080p. And hopefully this next row will go in a little bit easier. No, that is off axis. You know what, for this one, I might just use one of those stabilized ones. Because I got them. Just means I'll definitely get it absolutely straight.
There's no denying that that is straight and that is in. Cool. I got the stabilized ones, I might as well use them, right? Sixty six viewers currently. Is that what you guys see? Now you see sixty nine. Go ahead, keep smashing that like button. The more likes this channel gets, the more people get to come and join and see this beautiful carbon fiber top plate, Zelio 67 gram, red aluminum base, white PBT key capped, beautiful keyboard. And don't forget to go over to oneupkeyboards.com. I'm the owner of oneupkeyboards.com. If you didn't already know, oneupkeyboards.com. Go check out the awesome selection of keyboards that we have there keyboard kit so you can make your own or you can get one of the ones that I've previously built on this show. And for those of you who have just pressed like and subscribe, thank you and welcome to the show. You're going to have a great time. Stick around. The upgrade to 4K is just around the corner. 1080, 480, and 720 are our top three. Oh, you guys love the 480. I asked everybody to switch over to 1080p. What have you done? You've gone to 480p. Love it. At least you're owning it. You know what I'm saying? At least you're owning it. hasn't quite gone all the way in, so I just need to uh, prick this little corner and back up. I can do that with this. There we go. As I move across the board here, I will switch back to action cam. What USB type does the GON TKL use? Mini. All of the keyboard PCBs that we currently sell all rely on mini. We don't have any micro or USB-C available currently. Gideon John says, I'm interested in building my own keyboard, but I just bought the ASIO. That's cool. The ASIO is a decent keyboard for starters. Um, uh, yeah, USB Mini B. Yes, indeed. want these to be seated all the way in nice and firm so just a little bit of jiggery pokery happening here as I try to get that, that edge in I'm actually gonna pull out a little screwdriver and just wedge that up yeah. 
What's that? Super chat. How do you feel about rubber dome? Yeah, pretty dark actually. Pretty dark indeed. Hey, thanks very much. You've just pushed this up to the three eighths mark. Thank you very much, Dane. That's awesome. You know what? This one's too small. What's that? I'm just, this little corner hasn't quite gone down. And it just needs, the board just needs to be supported a little bit. So it clicks in. There we go. Just took a little, just took a little tiny jiggery pokery. The cops are coming to get me. Illegal keyboards. That's what, that is the next name of this thing. I'm just gonna switch over to action cam so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Pretty sweet, right? Pretty sweet. Just gonna put another one or two in here. Oh, uh don't think Pete got it. I'm not sure what I was supposed to get there, bud. Let me know. Happy to get it. Today we're not going with the stepped caps lock. We're just going with the standard caps lock. So that's in this position. I'm going to push that row down again when I do the next row. Blue carbon fiber is so sexy, isn't it? Isn't it? Pit Fermi, what's going on?
You can have a greets, man. Welcome to the stream. For those of you who've just joined, if you haven't already pressed like and subscribe, go ahead and do that now. Would love to have you join. That is not all the way in. That is a long way from that. Okay, let's pick this board up and see if we can't smush that in another way. So you can see here the front of the switch is just a little bit down. Uh, so I'm just going to prop that one up. Again, it's this attention to detail. That there we go. Oh, I didn't do that in action cam. Should have. See if I get another one that doesn't quite sit all the way down. Oh, there. That one. Okay. Let's just show that off then. Shall we? Do you see that that there? All I'm gonna do is just there we go. Make sure that it's all the way seated in. Just by pushing up a little bit on the plate. That one went in perfectly. Don't forget that links to this and everything you can see on my desk are available in the About section below. Go check that out if you want. Go check out oneupkeyboards.com. I'm the owner, the very proud owner. Talk about it constantly. Okay, just a couple switches left to go here. All right, so uh, the first things first, let's. Um, Let's do it. Let's do this properly. So what I would do in order to figure out how the keycaps go on is actually remove this bottom row from here and use that as my template. So that's what I'm going to do. So just pull that out like that and I do this. Uh, then next what I'm going to do is put a keycap on this switch. Make sure you get it the right way around, just like this. Uh, and then I can figure out where it goes. I actually put that one on backwards. Malky Tomlinson says, I don't see stabs on the site. Why are there no stabs on the site, Stab? We only have clear stabs currently available. No, no. Definitely have them. Products you like to do that sometimes. Just randomly go out of stock, even though we have stock.
this one in the wrong way around. Go that way. Clear stabs are back Switches in stock. And parts. Sorry about that. Switches and parts. Just there let you me go. know if that happens, but sometimes things go out of stock without me knowing and we have them. So So now you can see I've got the bottom row correctly lined up, so now I can pull all these caps back off. I'm just gonna pull this out of the way here. Whoops. Just gonna put those keycaps off to the side here. Keep that for later. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna go and just make my way across here and make sure they're all pressed down. Superb. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to go across and make sure that all my little gibbery pokeries are through. And I check them all with my finger rather than with my eye so that I can vouch for sure that they're all the way in. That's my stabilized one.
Okay, cool. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. We're at 54 viewers. Is that right? 54 viewers and 80 likes. 80 likes. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, please do press like now. Uh, we're just about to switch the solder cam back on and get to soldering the rest of this board together. I'm just going to have a couple more sips of my coffee. What's that? Much better coffee. Much better coffee indeed. Can't tell if there's anybody over on Twitch watching this. If you are on Twitch watching it, feel free to talk in the chat window. Uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to watch in full 1080p, especially as we go to the solder cam. But of course, check out camera two. If solder cam's a little uh, dizzying for you. Malky says, when will you be building the 40% gone board? Uh, I don't have any plans to. In fact, I have a PCB for a gone board that I might give away. I might do in the giveaway. Oh, I forgot to do a giveaway. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do one in the next stream. I'll do one in the next stream. I totally forgot about that, actually. Yeah, you were doing a slightly... Uh, slightly rushed thing this morning. Quick setup this morning. It actually it takes about two hours to get set up for a live stream. This morning I did it in an hour and it was hard no to do. live stream today. Soldering <laughs> or Yeah, I'm just about to get to soldering. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here we go. Just about to switch on solder cam. I'm just going to clean up a little bit off the desk here. All right, solder cam time. Usually my uh, subscriptions increase quite dramatically when I do the solder cam, so uh, I won't ask you to subscribe now. I'll just let you subscribe as we switch over to the solder cam. Ready? Here we go. There's solder cam there. Don't forget, uh, if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen solder cam before, it can be a little dizzying, especially as I first pull it out and give it a quick wipe. So keep your eye on the top left corner. This window up here, that'll stop you from uh, worrying too much about the dizzying motion that's happening, especially if you're watching this full screen at 1080p. So I'm just going to give this a quick wipe. Sorry about this. This is the part where it's at its most topsy-turvy, and I'm going to start uh, soldering. So the guy was asking earlier about soldering these boards, and what you do, you just rest the soldering iron on the PCB like that, and then you apply the solder directly to the pin and hole. You don't put it on the soldering iron. And I like to wipe up as I go up. Am I in solder cam mode? Yeah. Because I have my hat on. I can't see if people are subscribing or not. The brim is hiding it. Mm. Thank you to everybody who's pressed like and everybody who's pressed subscribe. This solder cam. Through Super Chat and uh, donations, buying me a cup of coffee in the about section below, this solder cam will eventually be upgraded to a 4K camera. Thank you again to all of my mods who are hanging out 
in the show today. This delicious blue carbon fiber 60% is a commissioned build. Yeah, it will use uh, PCB eventually. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a wipe in just a second here, so. Please keep your eye on that top left corner as I go for a quick wipe. There we go, we're back. As I've said before, everything that you see today is available at oneupkeyboards.com. Go check it out. Don't forget to subscribe for the newsletter too. Uh, the people who did got advance warning that the LJD 61 Up Universal Kit was released this morning. This is the part of the show that everybody comes back for. Gives you a real up close view of how the soldering is done on these keyboards. No mysteries here. I have the door open, but you know what I don't have is the fan on, so I'm just going to turn my fan on real quick here.
what? With the 68 up, that yeah. was confirmed by me. Yeah. They use PCB mount stuff. I did see that, and I confirmed this PCB yeah, mount. Okay. What's that? How do you solder diodes? How do you solder diodes? Yeah, messed up and accidentally ripped one that's for the shift key. Uh, yeah, you can just solder it back down. If you put like a little blob down first and then... Yeah, probably. If you can. Yeah. If you can. I gotta wipe again. I'm gonna do it after this. going to give a slightly different perspective just for one quick second here. That one's a little bit shallow. I'm just going to re... Switch them back to solder cam. I have a total of five cameras in my setup. Thank you again to everybody who's contributed to this channel. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already pressed like, now's a great time to do so. Thank you again to everybody who stopped by today's stream, especially to my mods who are currently controlling the chat. I haven't even looked up at the chat in ages. Thank you very much to my mods. You guys are awesome. Welcome to everybody who's just subscribed today.
the answer to the question that's kind of posed in the title of this is can you build a superior version of the poker 3 and the answer is yes in every way from fully programmable to custom switches to lubricated parts and pieces yes you can thank you to the people who just pressed subscribe i think you're gonna enjoy yourself The solder cam is just one of the cool innovations that this channel is bringing to life. Uh, I'm going to give this a quick wipe. Keep your eye on the top left. Hey guys, uh, let me just uh, tell you some stuff uh, and ask a favor. You know, doing stuff like developing new boards takes a really long time. Um, that 65% has been in the works for uh, a couple of months already, and it'll still be in the works for another couple of months before it's completely ready. But if there's anything else that you think our website should have, uh, any other parts or pieces that you wish that we carried that we don't currently have on our website, do let us know. The email for us is oneupkeyboards at gmail.com or we have a new web, uh, new email address which is info at oneupkeyboards.com. Everything okay, Steph? Yeah, the only question still is. <laughs> that was Liz? No, that was um, my company wanting to sell stuff to Liz. Oh, okay. Down to the bottom row here. Uh, Dane, we carry plate mount stabs. Uh, are you saying that they're not on the website and that's why you want us to carry more of them? Uh, we don't have any available outside of with the LJD. But we could, is what you're saying. Well, you, did you buy clear ones of those too? 
think so. We gotta do those. Yeah, well, if we have them, I can add them. Um, or send us an email. We'll figure it out. Screw and stabs. Basically, all the requests are around stabs. Get it? No. No. What? Maybe we can get this one to be perfect, but it's not. No. And that's it. Uh, keep your eye in the top left corner. pretty badly. Before I turn that over here, I'm going to turn off my soldering iron. It's time to start getting this base ready to play with. Is that a wheel rider in the background? Mm, don't think so. A what? A wheel rider?
with 60 people currently watching and 88 likes. Let's see if we can't get up to 90 likes. Anybody in here not already pressed like? All right, next up, I'm just gonna place this on here like that. I haven't screwed it in yet. Uh, I just want to test the keyboard. Before I do that, I'm gonna get the keyboard tester up. In just a minute's time. Keyboardtester.com. Launch the tester. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to Super Chat uh, view and we'll make our way across. Oh, of course, that was as I press Super Chat view, which is Alt Zero. Let's do this. That is one fully, fully functioning keyboard. Cool. All right, let's unplug that. Okay, let's put this off to the side as we continue to work on this base. Uh, what I'll need to do next. Not, not, not right now, thanks. I'll get to it, but not right now. Fastest entity. Welcome. Michael B277, welcome to the show. Uh, all right, I'm going to uh, get ready here for the one up keyboards sticker.
Thank you again to everybody who's uh, stopped by today. Thank you again to everybody, especially who's pressed like. Pressing like gets more people into the show, gets more people onto the channel. The more the channel grows, the sooner we'll be at our ultimate goal, which is 100,000 subscribers. So thank you again to everybody who's helped us towards that. Pete, I picked up an LJD carbon fiber. Uh, I recently put it together. My issue is it is wobbling back and forth corner to corner. I have no idea what you mean by that. What exactly is wobbling back and forth corner to corner? Once you put the switches in, it shouldn't be going anywhere. Uh, silver pen, Steph? What's that? What's today's date? I have no idea. The key, the carbon fiber plates themselves should be completely level, especially if you put the, the thing in. If you don't have the feet in the right corners or that they're like offset from each other, that could make it wobble. But the, the, the legs, they should be exactly the same, the same size. Is your desk wobbly? I mean, my desk is wobbly. I have a stainless steel desk and it's got a couple of like, you can probably see it flexing, so it, it's hard to get that uh, level, but build by. Build by, excuse Pete. What's today's date? Uh, May 26th. Which is? 26th, May. No, 05 26? I don't like to put any of the screws all the way to the bottom until I've got all the screws perfectly lined up. <coughs> oh, he said the bottom plate is flat. I have the feet on and when I take the bottom plate by itself, it doesn't follow the top plate in the issue. Are all the switches and... Yeah, it would have to be the switches are in the incorrect. If the switches aren't pressed in all the way into the PCB, it could cause the top to yeah to malform but even still just by screwing the top plate to the bottom plate that should should level it out not something I'd ever heard of before I'll be honest I think what he's saying is that the top one is so warped uh, that it's no longer parallel. I mean, the top one would have to be. Yeah, it'd have to be visibly warped too. I can't.
you're saying, okay, is it possible to unsolder and check the switches again? Yeah, unsolder everything. The only thing I can think of is it's pulling. Would that be the cause? It's the only thing I can think of. If one of them wasn't flush all the way, it would slightly pull. Hmm. Yeah, you can un you can desolder stuff. It's a kind of a pain in the ass. But you should be able to just look. Yeah, put a straight edge along the edges. You should be able to look and see without having to desolder everything first. Oh man, this is a beautiful board. Like I don't know if you can tell that just <laughs> by, whoops. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> Mechanist is good. Mechanist, hi, welcome. Just building a blue carbon fiber. Look at that. five likes this is awesome with 64 watching don't forget to please press subscribe if you haven't already please press like if you haven't already welcome to all the new viewers if you've been hanging around for a few minutes and you're thinking this is kind of cool you know what smash that like button gap all the way around. Lunchbox, if you're still having problems, just send us an email and we'll make sure that you're all right. Yeah, we... This is first build. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're having any problems, yeah, get in touch with us via email. I'm happy to hook you up and do... Uh, send some, some... Send some photos and l let us know exactly what's going on. Sixty-nine viewers with 107 likes. Thank you again to everybody who's come in for today's stream. Let's uh, let's put this let's put this bottom row back on, and then I'll do the top rows. Blue carbon fiber in a blue Fagel case. Uh, it's like you've just predicted my future. <laughs> did you get a blue one? Oh, did I ever. What's your daily keyboard, Keith? Uh, I have three daily keyboards. One is a TKL from one of keyboards. One is a universal 60% from one of keyboards. And the other is... Um, an LJD 61 up, which I actually brought home for the weekend. Uh, so my third one is actually this one right here. My third one's this one, which I really love. This is an LJD 61 up black carbon fiber with the middle piece. This uh, has 62 gram Zelios in it. Uh, and these are these are JTK keycaps. Uh, three, I've got this one. Uh, Steph has Steph has this one, which is the. I'm gonna unplug this for a second. Yeah. Uh, this is Steph's uh, carbon fiber. TKL. TKL. With gold feet, we should probably change those up. And uh, do I have another one? I built something else. Didn't I? I built a, something else. I had a 
No, maybe not. Maybe we were expecting your Mech 27 to be built with oh, Gaddis Yeah. yeah. Have you considered making different bottom rows or split shift? Uh, I have, of course, uh, considered it, but uh, I've not done it as yet. Hey, what's your opinion on GMK caps? Excellent. Top, I love mine. Top quality. Uh, I think of them a bit like swatch. Like, you never get some nice, just normal, nice keycaps. They're always like silly colors and stuff, but. Oh no, I love mine. My GMK Skeletor is amazing. I just want like, ba like I got a Stormtrooper set that I think is awesome. I haven't put on anything yet, but I just want like more basic, you know. I just like the basic colors is what I'm saying. I'm old school at that. <laughs> and I'm also colorblind, so. Just tighten this one screw down just a smidge more. Better. Better, better. These, of course, are side printed keycaps. You can see the side print there. These are PBT keycaps, also from 1UP Keyboards. Steph, can I ask you a fave? Mm -hmm. Could you grab me a one-up mm -hmm. keycap? White. Thank you. Arshid Goal says, that is one dope keyboard. The colors are so perfect. It's really good, right? Hold on, let me show you that side view again. Yeah, 
It looks even better IRL. Whoops. That was crazy. Oh, that gives you actually a pretty good view of. <laughs> exactly how that rolls out. Hey, Steph? What? That gives you a pretty good view of how that blue, red, white combo is working out right there. Yeah, it's hard for me. I want to see it on my screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't forget, camera two is still live. You can check this out, the side view of this thing. Michael B277 says, where do you live? I'm live from New York City at the moment. Uh, hmm. uh, I just noticed that uh, one of, I just noticed that this fell out of my, just before I finish up, uh, I just lost a screw out of my, my plank. That's not my plank, my prionic. I'm just going to screw that back in real quick. It's weird. That one screw just jumped out under my foot, too. It's odd. This, uh, by the way, is how I control the live stream. These are all the different cameras that I use. I control that with my feet. I'm one of the only, I'm the only one of the only people who uses a mechanical keyboard with his feet. At least that I know of. Let's just switch over to action cam here for a quick second. Just gonna grab this. Sorry to do this with you guys live like that. There you go again. Nice view. Real nice view. I'm going to move this over just a smidge. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't do that on purpose, I promise. I have to. I'm sorry. I know this is your keyboard. I just have to. 
Oh. Okay, fingers off now. Okay. Oh, that is such a damn nice keyboard. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. That X key, uh, that X key is set a little high. I just need to uh, push it down. There you go. That C is now a little high too. Uh, this just basically needs to be just needs to be used so that all the keys, yeah, get leveled out and it's all broken in and leveled out. Um, that's not not an issue. Uh, okay. Um, just wanted to go overhead here for a sec. Make sure I got that nice and centered. Switch to overhead. There we go. Uh, that's the extra escape key. I'll put that in a baggie for you for in a second. What? I just moved it over to this screen so I could check that it was centered. Hey Pete, what about a Mario and Luigi for the shop? We're not actually Mario and Luigi themed, really. One Up is about. Um, those are also licensed, so I doubt that would be affordable. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you the story real quick. Steph made uh, Steph made a sleeve, and I thought it was excellent, so I asked her to uh, put it up on Mech Market, and the line I said was just put one up on Mech Market, just put one up, and uh, it sold pretty quickly uh, by. Um, uh, bought by a very close friend of ours now, uh, and because of that, uh, the name stuck. So she put one up, and now we're one up keyboards. Uh, yeah, it's just a that's that's just a matter of breaking stuff in. You see that? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Uh, like the keys lining up, that really has to do with the top housings. Having just soldered them all in, they all need to be lined up, really. But you see it all. It's just the way a keyboard is. Them's just the brakes. That is as beautiful a keyboard as one can buy anywhere in the world. Side printed PBT blue carbon fiber top plate with a red aluminum base featuring the one up keyboards logo signed by me excuse Pete for today's build date thank you very much to everybody who stopped by for today's build 67 currently watching with 110 likes if you guys have any questions why don't you throw them out at me now uh, Thank you very much to everybody who's uh, supported the show. We're at $75 of our $200 goal to get towards 4K. Don't forget to go and check out oneupkeyboards.com. I'm the owner of oneupkeyboards.com. These are some of the keyboards that we make there. Lots of kits so you can try making them yourself. Just gonna do a little bit of cleanup here while I got a second. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who pressed subscribe. Thank you to everybody who pressed like. Thank you to everybody who donated towards the show. Super chatters. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of people over at oneupkeyboards.com now. When is your shop anniversary? We actually started that 
Uh, so we sold the first sleeve on Mech Market in November 2015, and we actually launched the site in January 2016. Um, that's when we first got one of keyboards.com. And uh, yeah, is that right? Maybe that's not right. Maybe we launched in November 2014. The website was January 2016, and we did it. Uh, by the end of the first year, we had just switched. Yeah, we switched from our thing to yeah. And then the second, after 18 months of OS Commerce, that's when we switched over Christmas, in the most difficult transition of all time ever. But that was awesome. So now, we're on your year one. Well. We've been operating for a year, so what do you, we should pick a date that's actually the anniversary day, January something. Yeah. January. <laughs> uh, Sixty percent sleeves coming back in stock soon. Chris Chen, yes, we have a major announcement coming there. Uh, yeah, but in the meantime, if you want a sixty percent sleeve, use the major order custom sleeve section and just say standard sixty percent, and you can choose the color you want. Uh, did you guys hear that from Steph? My thing's on. Your mic is on. Awesome. It's not on. Oh, you should turn your mic on and say it again. You can. So, uh, if you want a 60% sleeve now or before, um, if you want a 60% sleeve now or before the uh, new sleeves come back into stock, you can go to the uh, custom section and uh, pick out the color and size that you want. Uh, that'll work. Another major order. Yep. Uh, people are crushing one of keyboards, which is amazing. Uh, we got 111 likes, which is pretty damn good. It's, I don't think it's quite the record. I think the record's 150, but we're pretty damn close. Thank you again to everybody who stopped by, everybody who's uh, come and hung out. Uh, if you're new to the channel and new to the show, don't forget to press like and subscribe. Uh, oh, Benjamin says I did hear her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bazooka, hey dude, welcome to the show. And you are available to do custom builds, just get in touch with us. Hopefully they didn't hear that. <laughs> you love doing custom builds. I do enjoy custom builds. Like, well, look at this one. I really badly want to type on it. Arrgh! Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Atari Zero. I'm going to put that off to the side, and I am going to type on a keyboard. I'm going to type on my, this is my LJD61 up. It's bright pink and so durable stuff is awesome. Yeah, this one is 62 gram. It's not quite as crispy as the 67 gram. Thanks, Atari. What do you think of Razer keyboard? Uh, Tychus Man 77, I would avoid Razer keyboard. Uh, if you're thinking about buying one of the mass-produced keyboards, I tend towards the Cooler Masters. And the reason that I do that is what's called the standard bottom row. You can just see it here, which is three on the left, space bar four equal size on the right and the ones on the left and the ones on the right are all equal size that's called the standard bottom row you can see it here as well standard bottom row one two three the same size one two three four on the other side same size most keycaps are made with standard bottom rows so i avoid the razor because the razor has different sized uh, keycaps in the bottom row they even have some that have shorter space bars which are very hard to find so I tend towards uh, these ones, and Cooler Master is one of my favorite brands because they do that. Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid. That's my 
my prefer preference. Nicholas Monazon says, is that real carbon fiber? It absolutely is real carbon fiber. This one is black carbon fiber. That's uh, black carbon fiber. This is blue carbon fiber with an aluminum base. They are real carbon fiber. They're not, uh, they're not stickered. What do you mean with Poker 3? Uh, the Poker 3 is a keyboard that is called Onboard Programmable, and they're only available in four switch types, I think. Uh, and so today I made the 60% with the aluminum base that's a fully programmable keyboard, and it comes uh, with a carbon fiber top plate, and it comes with Zilio 67 gram switches. So this is a definite improvement over the Poker 3. Uh, it's also fully custom, and I've built it over the last, what was that, two hours and 25 minutes or so? Uh, I've never used a Zilio switch. What would you say it feels like? Uh, have you ever used a Cherry MX Clear? It's like a very smooth, very soft, very beautiful Cherry MX Clear. Uh, it is definitely real carbon fiber, though. The way you can test it is uh, you can test carbon fiber plates because of their conductivity. It's true. Here, let me show you. Uh, so, look, if you take a multimeter and you, uh, you take the two ends and you tap them together, you'll see that it goes to zero. If you do it on the desk, because this is stainless steel, it also goes to zero. But if I do it, say, on the sticker, you'll notice that it doesn't. So what I can do here is I can just touch the two edges of carbon fiber, and you can see that it's conductive. You see that? That's just the edges here. Because real carbon fiber is conductive. I don't know if this and this would be conductive, though. No, it's not, because that's, that's coated. But when you touch just the sides, you can see... It is definitely conductive. That's how you can test if it's real carbon fiber or not. All of the kits that we sell that say on one-up keyboards that they're carbon fiber, they are carbon fiber. Zilios are best described as smooth, says Diego. I would also say they're, because they got a big tactile bump in there. They're also quite tactile. Just going to give this a quick while well, I'm here. What PCB would you recommend for Macs? Uh, depends on the size, but I would recommend um, I would recommend the Satan uh, Satan GH60. Um, yeah, and uh, invisibility is absolutely correct. Invisibility, you're back. What's going on? Uh, any PCB except for Gone Nerd, or if you're willing to overwrite the Gone Nerd, uh, you can go ahead and do that as well. You know what? I might switch over the keycaps on this thing. Is
Is this a hobby side thing or your main occupation? If it's your main occupation, if it's not your main, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work in advertising. Uh, I'm a creative director in advertising. Uh, this is just my hobby. Uh, I have the day off because it's the long weekend and we got Friday off as well. So I got the day off, so I just thought I'd hang out with you guys and make some keyboards and stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely not an accountant. Do you know, uh, Invisibility, did you know you can get regular GH60 Rev C on Taobao for cheaper than a Satan? Didn't know that. Uh, I, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to deal with Taobao, you certainly can. Um, Continent 60 works great on Mac, but you have to disable the N key rollover to remove the latency. Yeah, you have to do that. And if you want to be able to program it on a Mac, uh, you also have to overwrite it with TMK or QMK. How about a 40, Pete? What about a 40, William Jones? Uh, I have my 40% just over here. You know, Steph, I might just bag this up. What's that? Yeah. It's all done. It's ready to go. Beautiful. Build another 40. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to build another keyboard just now. Mmm. Giant bull pasta. Mmm. This is delicious. This one's a restoration job, and I haven't, I haven't finished that. Actually, this could use a, this could use a one of these as well. Uh, my daily driver, I have, I have three daily drivers. Two of them are currently at work. I have a TKL, I have a 60%, and then this one. But I brought this one home uh, just because I, I don't use it uh, as often. It's like my third choice. So I might, in fact, let's do that. I'm going to pull the keycaps off of this one, bag them up, and then uh, grab a different set of keycaps for it. Just see if I can't get a little more use out of it, you know? Why not hang out for a little while longer? Hey, you know what I'm saying? 50, 56 still watching, 114 on the stream. Uh, for those of you who have just joined the stream, don't forget to press like, 
Don't forget to press subscribe. Uh, earlier in the stream, I did indeed build a better poker version of the Poker 3. Electric, that's a possibility. Yeah, I figure if I change the keycaps on it, then um, it'll give it a different feel and I might use it a little bit more often. Uh, I love these keycaps, don't get me wrong. Um, and this was my primary daily driver for a long time, for like the first seven or eight months I was at my new job. But recently, with the 67 gram universal that I made in slate gray, which matches my Mac. Um, I've been using that one more and more. And then the other one I've got is uh, that TKL with pulse on it, which is pretty spectacular. So. Uh, I have a lot more than 14. Uh, I store some of them. I mean, I leave some at work. Uh, I have a drawer at work that I keep them in. I also have a shelf here at home uh, that I use. And then, of course, we have some computer setups. And that's where some of them live with the computer setups. Would the LJD61 up take my B-Face PCB? Absolutely it would, yes. Okay, just two seconds, guys. I'm just going to go bang this out over the rubbish bin uh, just to get some of those crumbs and stuff off of it. Okay, let me go get my selection of keycaps and we'll uh, we'll make a call here. Theodoro do your f asks, do your friends have mechanical keyboards? You guys are my friends, what are you talking about? This is this is one of the possibilities. Just leave that there.
Okay. Here are the choices. You ready? So there's Modern Selectric. I'm going to need more space. Okay, Monarch Electric, or I have a GMK Stormtrooper, or I have a metal keycaps, but I don't think I'm going to do the metal keycaps because I don't have the numbers or a space bar yet. Uh, whoops. Uh, this is Raindrop. This is... Oh, that's Eve. Could do Eve. Uh, this is the other half of... Or I have this Vortex white set or I could do ice caps uh, this stream is so chill I'm getting like minor ASMR from all the ambient noise is ASMR in that good or not good do you want me to close the door I can close the door Benjamin Cox says, do you have any of those 60% slate bases around to see the color? Is it like a, just like a blue, just a blue like color? No, it's, it's definitely gray. Uh, and yeah, I do. I do have them right here. Just one sec. There's the slate base. Definitely not blue. ASMR is good, okay. Raindrop. Gengar is saying raindrop. Dr. Doom Apple is. I've got a couple for Eve. I got a couple raindrops. You know the other the other one I could do is I could peel just one sec. I could peel toxic off of this. Oh man, toxic on that black carbon fiber would look pretty sick. Raindrop. Picture on the... Uh, looks blue to me, lol. Uh, and it, it might be a little, uh, little blue-ish there. It all depends on the lighting. It, anyways. Is raindrop cherry profile? It's actually, um, uh, is it cherry profile or is it? It's signature plastics, so that's. Raindrop Eve. DCS. That's what it's called. Eve. Okay, we're kind of down to two. People are saying Eve or Raindrop. Okay, there's, there's Eve. There's Raindrop. All right. Just one second, I'm just going to put some of these away, and then we'll make our final stall here.
Oh, not the metal ones either. Eve raindrop. Eve, Eve. Okay, we're down to two, and so far it goes, goes, Eve, 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 raindrop, raindrop, Eve. We're four two right now. Rain, with the last one being Benjamin saying raindrop. So, Eve, raindrop. Place your votes now. Place your votes now, kids. Benjamin Cox, we were at 4 2. Uh, we go Eve, 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 raindrop. So we're at 10 3 here. Pretty clear that the last board I had this on had uh, whatever these are called. What are they called? Uh, Co-star stabs. It was Evie though. Evie. Am I wrong? Is her name Eve? S D F G H yeah, that's J. Q E Q W E Z X C one. Yes, I say Z, not Z. It's just a weird Canadian hangover thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Steph, do you have nails that can do these? Nails? Yeah. Can you pull those up? Oh.
Don't worry about the tape. Switch puller. Thank you to everybody again who's used the super chat function. Just going to show those uh, people off. Atari Zero, Dane Carter, twice over Dane Carter. Thank you very much again to everybody who's used super chat today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Excellent. Much than nails. Uh, hey, Malenki. Yeah, I got the day off from work today, so I thought I would hang out with you guys and do a little bit of live streaming. the wrong way around. It should go this way. Just to give you guys a quick action cam view, there you go. Now with these things, what I like to do, because they're from Signature Plastics, turn it upside down, shake it. Just the one key fell off. Now, I'm gonna use what's called the tape hack. Uh, so what you do, take a little piece of scotch tape like this. I'm gonna zoom in. Take a little piece of scotch tape and 
gonna I'm gonna rip it and rip it again until all I'm left with is a little square. Now uh, you take that little square and you put it over the hole. Like that. Like that. Then you take that and you put it onto the keycap. There you go. Now that shouldn't come out anymore. Gengar still holding on. That raindrop would look more awesome in my opinion. Love it, man. I love, yeah, your strong conviction about that. You, you might well be right. This does look pretty sick, though, I'll be honest. still watching with 116 likes if you haven't already smashed that like button could you go ahead and do so now thank you very much that is your classic eve set right there Yeah, Gengar, you know what? I think that this might look better on a silver one. Speaking of which, there's a new silver keyboard out today. Uh, but maybe I'll save this for a silver board rather than a black one. Just with the black, I think this might be the better looking one. Gabriel Tran says, how about one more time for raindrop? Definitely looks nice, right? Definitely looks nice. Cool. Well, thank you again to everybody who stopped by today and who hung out. I really do appreciate you guys uh, spending the afternoon with me like this. Great fun. I'm just going to put these back on the desk as I had them.
For those of you who joined late, you can watch this on video on demand shortly. Uh, today I built a keyboard, a universal 60%. Uh, and hopefully I'll be back again over the weekend. It's a long weekend for us here in New York City. In the U.S., in fact. We're at 120 likes. If there's five more likes out there amongst you, would love for you to smash it. Don't forget to press subscribe if you're new. Uh, would love for you guys to come back and hang out soon. If you'd like to be notified for the next live stream, watch this video. Okay, guys, here's how you subscribe and catch all the live streams. First, click subscribe like you normally would. Then click the gear beside it. Now you'll see the notification menu. Click send me all notifications for this channel. That means that next time I start my live stream, you'll get a notification to let you know it's about to start. Cool. Well, thanks again to everybody who tuned in. I really enjoyed having you guys hang out. Uh, like I say, I hope to do another live stream over the course of the weekend. Thank you again. Don't forget to go check out oneupkeyboards.com. If you're watching this after the fact, feel free to leave a comment or question in the comment section below. Check the about section for relevant links to this and everything else you've seen on my desk today. If, uh, yeah, you'd like to support the channel, we're at currently at $75 of 200 towards getting that 4K webcam hooked up for the solder cam. Thanks again, guys. Thank you again to all my mods. Thank you again to all the new people who came by and checked us out. Don't forget to come back and check us out again soon. It's been awesome. It's been super fun. Thanks again, Dane. Appreciate it, especially my super chatters who super chatted today. We'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget that even though the stream is over, the chat will continue. So uh, do hang out, and we'll see you guys again soon.